Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be making a fun black cake with a blue drip and gold macarons. We'll start off by coloring our macarons, just getting them ready. These are from Coles, so what I'm doing is selecting the colors that are closest to gold, minus that little one green one that you saw there. Popping it into a Ziploc bag with edible gold dust and giving them a bit of a toss around until they're all coated. You should end up with a little something like that. And then I'm sticking a six inch cake to a cake board, popping it into the freezer and then taking a eight inch cake and sticking it to the cake board with buttercream. I'm filling in with more of that buttercream. I'll have the recipe for this in the description box below and in the eye icon up top for you guys. Take a spatula and just using whatever buttercream is sort of poking out the sides there to create a crumb coat. I'll smooth it out, make sure to also add some at the very top as well. And then when you're happy with the finish, pop it into the fridge to set for 20 minutes. Repeat again with your six inch and just sticking it to the board with some buttercream. The flavors that I've done here for my friend are red velvet at the base and some butterscotch mud at the top. Create that crumb coat and back into the fridge she goes for 20 minutes as well. For the black buttercream, you can use dark chocolate ganache and then add in some black gel food color or you could just use regular um, buttercream and add in a whole lot of black gel food color as you saw there. You could even add a little bit more again if you like. One thing to note with black buttercream though is that it turns out um, a little bit gray but then as it sets it almost oxidizes it almost becomes like a deeper black um, the next day so don't be stressed if yours is only gray it will darken smooth it out with your frosting scraper and I do sell these on my website as well I'll have those linked in the description box for you guys too bring that lip of frosting to the middle refrigerate and then repeat again with your six inch top tier and here you can already see how much darker it's gotten in that small time. Into the freezer she goes for 20 minutes and then create your drip. This is white chocolate buttons and some heavy cream. I'll have the recipe again linked in the icon and description. Add in some gel food color after it's been completely melted down in the microwave in 30 second bursts. And then I'll pop that into my piping bag ready to go. Give it a good twist to the top so it doesn't come out the top. And I just have it sitting in a tall glass in the meantime. Take that bottom tier, add five bubble tea straws or wooden dowels in a square and then one right in the middle. Push it down to the very base of the cake board, give it a bit of a wriggle and then pull it up a few centimeters. Wherever that line is on the straw, that's where you cut because you'll know that that's where it lands flush with the top of the cake. You can now unstick that, uh, that six inch cake board from that temporary board and stick these two together with buttercream. It was sitting in the freezer so I could handle it with my hands pretty easily without it dinting. However, I did only touch the top just in case considering that's gonna be completely covered by ganache. Cut a small hole at the end of your piping bag and create a nice large puddle at the top. Leave it about a centimeter away from the edge and start artificially dripping down your little drips. I only add just a little bit because I know the puddle will continue to feed them and they'll just get longer and longer. Do the same for the top and if you want them to be a bit shorter, leave it about maybe a centimeter and a half from the edge before you start dripping. And again, you can see there just how minimally I'm adding that drip because it's gonna continue to drop with that puddle up top. Let it sit in the fridge for 20 minutes at least, let it come to a nice firm setting and then add on your edible decorations. For the macarons, I've used a 6B tip to stick those on and some black buttercream. I highly recommend adding some at the top of your um, eight inch as well, just to kind of tie it all together, even if it's just three or four. And then right in the middle, I've taken a acrylic cross, so an acrylic cross added a bit of buttercream at the back and stuck it to the front of my cake. And there you have it, a really fun and easy communion or christening or baptism style cake. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one and you give it a try. If you do, I'd love to see how yours comes out. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Feel free to subscribe for more and we'll catch you again in the next one.